Hello and welcome to How Not to Play, a channel in which I play video games badly. Today we are going back into the world of Final Fantasy because even though we did finish the game, we did not quite get the happy ending that we were expecting. So maybe there's more to be had. World of Final Fantasy. And we are going to head into our prism case. And here we are going to put into our party a white knack water toad. We'll transfigure my mimic into a mimic queen. A Malboro. Magitech armor. Manticore. Mord skull. And a mega night squall. We don't have to stack these, we just need them in our party. And we're going to have to make two trips. So with those in our party, we're going to head on down to the beach. And all the way out onto the pier. Where we find this woman and her kid, I think, that we can talk to. Whatever am I going to do? My son insists upon seeing some mirages up close, but I have no idea what he's talking about. Okay, so it's white and fluffy, and it kind of looks like a tiny dog, but it isn't really a dog. Oh, I say, do you think you might be able to find the one he's talking about for him? I'll make it well worth your while, of course. Now, most of these we could have done on our first entrance into Besaid, but I like doing things all at once, so this is where we get our white knack. Wow, it's the real thing! I can't believe I got to lay eyes on it! My goodness! So this is the mirage he was talking about. Well, I certainly learned something today. Oh, oh yes, here, take this. It's the least I can do. And we get 3,000 gil just for showing her a cat. Well, hello. And she's got another Thank one for you us. Thank so much for your help the other day. However, I'm afraid my son is yet another mirage he wants to see. Okay, so it's watercolored, it hops around, and it goes ribbit. It's slimy and gross and awesome. Would you mind humoring him again, please? If you don't know which frog he's talking about, you can just put them all in the party. But since you're watching this, you'll know that it is... Yes, that's it! Woo! The Water Toad! Awesome. Thank you so much again. Here, as a token of our gratitude. And we have 4,000 kill. Damn, she's rich. Okay, so it's a shiny gold box with lots of diamonds. I thought it was a treasure at first, but no. Oh, of all the time for him to bring it up. Oh, it's you! Wonderful timing. Could I trouble you to look for another mirage my son wishes to see? Whoa! This is amazing! It's even bigger than I thought it'd be! Awesome! My! That must have been an ordeal to find! Here, this is to thank you for your trouble. And we get 5,000 gil for a Mimic Queen. Well, hello! Thank you so much for your help the other day. However, I'm afraid my son is yet another mirage he wants to see. Okay, so it's got a whole bunch of ice and a big mouth and it stinks real bad. Would you mind humoring him again, please? I mean, that's the most apt description of a Malboro I've ever heard. Yes, that's it! Woo! This is awesome! Thanks! My goodness! 
business. So this is the mirage he was talking about. Well, I certainly learned something today. Oh, oh yes, here, take this. It's the least I can do. And Mrs. Moneybag gives us 6,000 gil this time. And another okay, quest. So it's like this huge robot. You can ride around it. Oh, of all the times for him to bring it up. Oh, it's you. Wonderful timing. Could I trouble you to look for another mirage my son wishes to see? Is that really it? Wow. So that's what it looks like. Cool! Thank you so much again. Here, as a token of our gratitude. And we get 7,000 gil for the Magitek armor. Okay, so it's a pretty black cat with really big eyes. I guess the only bad part is that its face is kind of scary. Oh, of all the times for him to bring it up. Oh, it's you! Wonderful time. Could I trouble you to look for another mirage my son wishes to see? Black cat, would that be a black knack? Nope. Yes, that's it! Woo! This is awesome! Thanks! That's our manticore. My, that must have been an ordeal to find. Here, this is to thank you for your trouble. And we get... Oh, wind spell stones this time. She must be out of cash. Well, hello! Thank you so much for your help the other day. However, I'm afraid my son is yet another mirage he wants to see. Okay, so it's a ghost with an orange mask and a really sharp, choppy thing. Would you mind humoring him again, please? Absolutely. I happen to have... A Mord Skull right here. Is that really it? Wow! So that's what it looks like! Cool! Thank you so much again. Here, as a token of our gratitude. And we get Earth Spell Stones. Okay, so it's like the King of the Ocean. And it's even got built-in camouflage. Oh, of all the times for him to bring it up. Oh, it's you! Wonderful timing. Could I trouble you to look for another mirage my son wishes to see? Whoa! This is amazing! It's even bigger than I thought it'd be! Awesome! My! That must have been an ordeal to find! Here, this is to thank you for your trouble. And our Mega Night Squall gives us three Water Stones. And she has yet more quests for us. Well, hello! Thank you so much for your help the other day. However, I'm afraid my son is yet another mirage he wants to see. Okay, so it's an old man that shoots lightning and thunder, and he always spoils his granddaughter. Would you mind humoring him again, please? Okay, so it's an old mine. All right, well, we don't have him in our current party because we kind of ran out of space. So, back to the door. Actually, we can just. We can just use a seraphone right here at the bridge or at the pier to access our prism case. And here we can grab Ramu, Shiva, Afrit. And Tama Mahime.
And now with him in our party, we've got the objectives met, so we can head on back down and talk to her again. he was talking about. Well, I certainly learned something today. Oh, oh yes. Here, take this. It's the least I can do. And we get, you guessed it, lightning spell stones for Ramu. It can be either um, V Ramu, Ramu Star, or it could be uh, a Ramu you've transfigured from a Zapped. Either one works. Okay, so it's a pretty lady covered in ice. She's even prettier than my mom. Oh, of all the times for him to bring it up. Oh, it's you. Wonderful time. Could I trouble you to look for another mirage my son wishes to see? And that's the same for Shiva and Afri. Must have been an ordeal to find. Here, this is to thank you for your trouble. Well, hello! Thank you so much for your help the other day. However, I'm afraid my son is yet another mirage he wants to see. Okay, so it's a really tough looking beast man who's always on fire. Oh, and the lightning man's always on his case, too. Would you mind humoring him again, please? So I find it hard to believe that this kid knows everything about these mirages except their name. Yes, that's it! Woo! This is awesome! Thanks! Thank you so much again. Here, as a token of our gratitude. And we got fire spell stones for that one. Okay, so it's a big, white, really beautiful fox who's got lots of lives. Oh, of all the times for him to bring it up. Oh, it's you! Wonderful time. Could I trouble you to look for another mirage my son wishes to see? And this time it is... our good friend... Must have been an ordeal to find. Here, this is to thank you for your trouble. Kama Mohime. Ooh, Mega Elixir. Awesome. I guess that would qualify as an ordeal, having to die, rewind time twice. Yeah. Change the fabric of space time. That would qualify as an ordeal. And we are finally done with them. All right, this time we are going to travel to Figaro Castle because there's some townsperson quests we forgot there. Well, I'm not going to say forgot because we knew they were there. We just decided to wait until later. And by we, I mean me. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Oh, I can't stand it. Why do those mirages insist on causing me trouble? Hmm. You two. You wouldn't happen to be the giants from the hills, would you? You've come at just the right time. There are some horrible mirages I want you to reprimand for me. Those thieving good-for-nothings have raided every single shipment of the luxury tea leaves I ordered. Oh, it makes me furious just thinking about it. These are the despicable fiends that have been stealing my tea leaves. Be a dear and take care of this for me, won't you? We need to defeat five red captains. Hurry up and take care of those mirages for me. Best place I know of to find a red captain would be here in the watch planes. So we'll equip our lure mirage jewel and run around for a bit.
All right, we finally found one. After getting most of the way through um, the third area. And they do have the ability of jumping in front to guarding. Which, I mean, we're killing them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, and after an entire game of Tama riding on my head, now I finally get to ride on hers. She does look sweet in this form, though. So as I was going through the watch plans, I realized there's a lot of battles in between you and the Red Captains. So if you want, you can go to the Chain Road instead. Um, I think Red Captains are a little scarcer there, but since you're going to be fighting all these battles and getting all this XP anyway, you might as well actually get XP, which at this level you're not going to get from the Watch Planes. There we go. Made it all the way to pretty much the last chain on the road. Before we found one again. But that's a lot of XP, right? It looks like Tama Mohime has the... Ultimate Attack Blossom Storm. But I noticed that in the stack we could actually... Upgrade it. So let's try Blossom Storm Plus and see what that does. Uh, it attacks randomly, so who knows what it'll hit or how much damage it'll do. Pretty cool. All right. All right. And probably one of the coolest things about Tama's large form is it has Joyride. So you can run around Ascent 6 on top of Tama Mohime. That's pretty cool. What? What do you mean defeated one of five? I've killed at least three of them here in the chain road so far. Oh, it specifies chasing them off in the watch planes. Alright. Well, don't be a bad like me. Read the quest and do what it says. So you do have to do the red captains in the watch planes. Take 
predictable. There we go. We finally met our objectives. Um, so yeah, just keep running Tama Mohime around the uh, watch planes until you get all of your kills. And then we can go to the exit. Alrighty, so back in Figaro Castle, we can walk up the bravo, stairs. Bravo. You talk to this lady more again. Competent than I anticipated. Now I can finally enjoy my afternoon tea. Here is the reward I promised. Go on then, you earned it. Max potion, that's nice. I said these battles we could have done earlier the first time we were at Figaro, but there you are. I've been waiting for you. There's another batch of mirages standing between me and my tea. You'll take care of these for me too, won't you? These are the mirages I want you to reprimand for me. I'm sure you'll be delighted to lend me your assistance, won't you? Now this time we have to defeat three Malboros. Alrighty. Get rid of them for me, and I'll make sure you're well rewarded. All right, this one specifies the windswept mire, so we're not going to make that mistake again. All right, so we'll just run around the windswept mire until... Nope, not goo. God damn it. Well, at this level, Flan don't pose much of a problem, so we'll just keep running around until we find... Sorry, but this might not end well for you. A Malboro! All right. Well, these appear to be a pretty rare encounter. Luckily, we just have to kill them and not capture them. So, a quick blaze, and they're done for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And eventually, you will kill all of them and finish off the battle for tea time. Uh, just hang around the save point here, and you'll have pretty much unlimited blaze usage, because it refills your AP every time you touch it. So we'll make our way back upstairs in Figaro Castle. This means that the tea leaves I ordered will finally get here. Splendid. This is payment for services rendered. I'll let you know if I have any more work for you. We got a turbo ether for completing the battle for tea time. There you are. I've been waiting for you. There's another batch of mirages standing between me and my tea. You'll take care of these for me too, won't you? These things. These are the mirages disrupting my afternoon tea. Make them regret the day they ever dared to lay their foul paws on my precious tea. And now we need to defeat five unicorns. Take care of this quickly, please. Tea leaves lose their flavor if they sit for too long. This is the quest I thought we had when we were climbing the Crystal Tower. So guess where we're going? Alrighty, so our unicorns are going to be on the third floor and up. So we'll hit our warp crystal to save us some time. And we'll start making our way from here. Huh? We've been ambushed by a unicorn. Predictable. 
So we'll just keep running around until we find them all. All right, that was easy enough. So with that done, we will use our teleport stone. And head back to Figaro. <laughs> this is what happens to those who stand between me and my chief. Take this with my gratitude. And after all that, we get a defense plus seed. Not too bad. While we're here, there is one more uh, townsperson quest that we've had for a while. It's actually out here in the Phantom Sands. So starting in Toil 2 and going through the rest of the area, there is a rare encounter. This won't take long. No kid gloves for you. Of a cactuar. And this is why we're here. So we need to inflict slow on him to create a prism tunity. Oh wait, I'm just trying to kill him. Never mind. That's easy. And to help farm the area, you can simply go into one of the exits that don't take you to the next area. And it'll take you back to the beginning. So you can pretty much just run in a straight line until you get all the cactars you need. Don't let your guard down just because we're stronger. Get it. Predictable. All right, so that finished off that one. We can go into our uh, adventure log and complete it here or we can go all the way back to Agarthir and hope that that dude is still alive even though the whole town has been converted to Cogna but this seems easier and we'll get our two high ethers and then we'll get out of here You've seen your fair share of battle. We've got a teensy weensy little problem we're dealing with now. Maybe you can help us with it. You see, some minotaurs have taken up residence right in the middle of our primary supply route. If we don't find a way to make them ski daddle soon, I can kiss all my profits goodbye. So, what do you say? Will you help a merchant out? Can I ask you to stroll on down to Big Bridge and be my own personal Toreador? I would super appreciate it. Alrighty, so this final uh, townsperson quest is to go to Big Bridge and kill some Minotaurs. And who am I to say no? Alrighty, so the Minotaur is only available, or you'll only encounter it, on Segment 2, and only after you have accepted uh, this quest. So normally you'll find a bunch of Brother Tor running around here, but you will not find the Evolved Minotaur 
unless you are specifically on the quest to find them. And even then, it seems like a pretty rare encounter. But, eventually... This won't take oh hell! Oh shit! Oh fuck! We got one! Holy shit! Alright! Woo! Alright, so we found a Minotaur. As you can tell, it is an extremely... Luckily, we just have to kill him. Yeah. Which isn't honestly too hard at this level. And just as a note as to how rare this spawn rate is, I have gone all the way up sec segment 2 and all the way back down segment 2. And I have found one of them with the Lure Mirage Jewel equipped. So, be prepared for some grinding. And that'll do it. So we have taken trouble by the horns. And back in Tome Town. We can talk to him again and finish up our final townsperson quest. Spectacular, you did it. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Here you go, your payment, as promised. Thanks again, you're the best. And we get an Abyss Seed for completing the mini-venture. And that should be all of them. So I do believe back in the tea room, there now? might be some more interventions to go on. Whose soul will you touch? Sure thing, we've got a smidge of micro envy. Now that Tama can transfigure into Tama Mohime, Seraphie is feeling left behind. So, let's see if we can't uh, help her out. <sighs> I should have known it wouldn't be easy. Huh? Seraphie, were you looking for me? Huh? Oh, no, no. Since we're both pixies, I thought, hey, I may as well ask her about transfiguration. Hmm? Transfig? Why no? Now that... Tom has learned to transfig and get all godlike. I can't help but feel a bit... I don't know if I'd say jealous. Uh, it's more like, really, it's just a pang. Just a smidge of micro-envy. Just a smidge, huh? <laughs> it sounds tough. You have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with high-level mirages. I'm not sure I'm cut out for it. Non-combatant and all that. <gasps> huh? You want to help her out? Hmm. <laughs> How's this? Maybe we three can help you out a smidge. Really, dude? That's sweet. Uh, I did not mean to channel Lon just now. Hmm? Wait a sec. We three? Never mind. Now, Siren, call in a high-level Mirage. Slow down. I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Oh, it'll be fine. Right? 
Hey, who are you talking to now? Hey, when did you get on board? I guess that means Wynn is on to us, huh? She definitely knows what's the up. But how the come I have to work my butt off just to help Seraphie? That doesn't seem right at all. This is it! Well, just pretend you're helping us collect Mirage. Ooh, Diva Seraphie. Wait a minute. Did they transfig Seraphie and so I have to fight Seraphie in order to transfig Seraphie? I'm lost. But since when is that anything new in this game? Ice or dark attacks? Except I don't think this Mirage is too happy about being collected. Well, it's not going to get collected. It's unimprisonable. Alright, so we can use ice attacks or just punch it in the face. However you want to go about it. Ooh, it's got haste. So feel free to dispel if you've got it. Or use the holy torch. So far, she hasn't done anything too terribly uh, problematic. Even her ultimate attack was just some damage in Oblivion, so... Yeah, just punch her in the face to finish her off. Because Lon and Rain were there to help you out. Huh? Well, they can do that? Sure can. You must have sensed them there. By your side? Hmm. I don't know what's going on, but the important thing here is that I won. Right. Now that my prismarium has gotten just a little more robusty, I expect to do great things. Lon. Rain. And that earned us the Transcender of Time trophy for completing all of the intervention quests, I do believe. Want some tea? What now? Whose soul will you touch? But definitely don't forget to go back into the intervention menu and get your rewards being the Siren Memento and the Diva Seraphy Memento so that we can actually do those upgrades or transfigs. What now? We can still trade in armor gems? What is it you want? Oh wow. Okay, so since we've got all the champion medals and completed all of the uh, intervention quests. We can now trade in Arma Gems for different seeds. This is cool. Wow. Alright. Um, yeah.
Going to the Colosseum? This way. So, how can I help you? So it looks like there are some new fights here in the Colosseum. Uh, there's Team Blue, you can fight a Trihydra and imprison that if you didn't on Chain Road. Uh, King of the Tomberries, we've already kind of fought him. What I'm here for though is Bad Fox. Let's begin. Oh, I don't know about this. I'm not scared of you. So with Bad Fox, we can fight our QB that we weren't able to imprison earlier. But by inflicting doom on it, we can. It does have a 50% resistance though, so this might be a rough fight. Luckily, however, the Mimikaliosa, whatever I can't pronounce, does learn Doom. So we'll give it a shot. And it misses, of course. So we'll try again, there we go. Now we are on a very limited time crunch to imprison this thing. Jesus. And of course it kicks out and ends up dying. We did it. That wasn't so bad. So we'll just go back in and try again. There we are. And we caught it this time. All right. Oh, yeah. So our QB is the transfiguration of Urugu. Some pretty average growth ratings. Yeah, we kind of saw all this on the Yurugu. Uh, but it does have Blaze Blossom Storm, just like Tamamohime does. But this one gets Poison Bite and Abyss, which Tamamohime did not have. So, I mean, is this better? I don't know. That's up to you. That was a good fight. Let's begin. Uh, this looks like bad news. I'll get us through this. Have I caught Chivalry yet? Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. So we'll use Ice Attacks to create a Prism Trinity. Easy peasy. Wow. Alright. That was something. And we got Chivalry. Star. So this is the male counterpart to Shiva, pretty decent growth ratings, nice elemental, yeah, alright. Uh, Blazara, Blazaga, slow, yeah, we saw all that stuff when we were fighting him, and most of it's with Shiva too, so there we go. Well I think that's all we can get out here for now, so... Come back soon. Let's yeah, we'll come back. We're not done here yet.
All right, so that just about does it for um, what we can do at the moment. I So let's go ahead and progress the storyline, get our good ending, and then we'll finish up the rest of the trophies in post-game. Uh, so these are the stacks that I'm going to be trying, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, the main reasons for these stacks are Ice Resist on Rain and Confusion Resist on Lawn. So we'll see what happens. Drum roll, please. Ready to start the operation? And when we're ready, we can just talk to Seraphie again. Hit yes. Huh? Oh, good. Then Operation Salvation is so on. Oh, you don't have to hunt down the Summoners or the League of S. I can get the word out. Okay. It's go time, Rain. Right. The Ultima Game. What do they hope to achieve? Hey. Hmm? What are you doing? For the win! The champions have come. You should not have been able to reach this castle. Why would you come here? Hurry to the Ultima Game. Our dear champions seem to have devised some trick. <laughs> what trick could ever redeem these wretches now? So we weren't able to stop them. That's not our objective. We're here to free the Architect's souls. The Ultima Gate? We'll have to leave it to the twins. Right. This is not what I would call speedy. They're trying to reverse summon all of the Cogna at once. Give them some time. Well, uh... <gasps> What is all of this? <gasps> it can't be! Dad, no, don't! <gasps> so... You have at last remembered who this used to be. Ah, but it's too late for you! Dad, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you when I had the chance. Instead of acting like a stupid little brat. Yeah. I won't listen. I won't listen. Not unless you snap out of it right now! I'm so sorry, Mom. You know, all I ever wanted was to be like you. You kept the world safe from mirages, and how they loved you for it. Still, I could see how hard you worked all the time. So I stepped up. Lon and I decided we would help. Right? We'd handle mirages so you wouldn't have to. I never thought I was hurting you by taking them away. Without your strength, the world crumbled. But I believed! If I got strong, just as strong as you, I could make your life easier! I just wanted you to be happy, Mom! What a know-it-all. Some things... Don't change. I still haven't learned. 
Because if I have to, I'll hurt you again! All right, so we are fighting one on one versus Saguar. It is. Well, let's go ahead and toss in a Libra. Twenty-five thousand HP. Okay, unimprisonable, weak to holy, and not much else. Alright, so Disaster Inflicts, Doom, Darkness, and Confusion, which is why we stacked Confusion Resist, so that we would be able to go down in here and select a Remedy Plus, which will cure the Doom. Because without that, yeah, we got no shot here. Uh, he's keeping up with us speed-wise. If you want a advantage, we can use haste. And he'll keep using disaster, it seems. Just drop a remedy plus whenever he does. So we'll use channel light to take a advantage of his holy weakness his physical attacks don't seem to do a whole lot of damage so it's just a matter of ooh magic shield Oh, is that protect? Yeah. No, must not be. Uh, this is looking like it's gonna hurt a little bit. Um, rather than heal, I'm just gonna toss an X potion. Cause I don't think cure will be enough, and it looks like I'm about to get unstacked here. Well, I mean... I've got plenty of wobble stoppers. Let's just toss one of those. Unstack me now, bitch. Ooh. That kind of hurt. But you know what else hurts? Of oh, this. And now we have a one on one fight with Rain versus the Plumed Knight. Nothing really different here. Uh, 25k weak to water or dark. I've got this. So water it is. Ooh, bloody claw. Thousand damage. Okay. Oh, looks like she's uh, faster than I am. I did give Rain a Drain Mirage Jewel. So that's 2,000 damage plus healing. So yeah, that works. So we'll just punch her a few times and use Drain when I need to heal. Ooh. And this is why I stacked Ice Resist to the point to where this move actually heals me. Let's go ahead and fix my wobble. Getting kind of low on health, so let's do some drainage.
sure, Blizzaga heals me. Thank you very much. Freezing dust is gonna heal me. Oh, the slow is uh, kind of bad though. That's okay, we've got more drain. for many years now. I'm sorry, Lon. If only I'd kept you safe from all this. Instead, I left you with no one at all to turn to. This here is just the shadow of my soul, my very last hurrah. You see, there's nothing to feel bad about. <sighs> I feel bad about it. Lon. <sighs> My son. <laughs> what is it? Lon, I'm very proud. About what? You've grown up, son. Look at you. When people hurt, you hurt. You fight for them. You've become someone who cares about more than your own cause. Hang on to that. And you'll go far. <laughs> 